Wherever you are this morning, we'd like to welcome you all to day three of the Pacific Islander Violence Prevention Conference. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, my name is Melissa Netana Jones, and I am I have the distinct honor of being your MC again for today. Um, so before we get started, I know there's just a few of us on uh, line today, but I would love if folks could turn on their cameras. Um, if anybody has ever facilitated a meeting on Zoom, it's a little uncomfortable to stare at boxes. So I would love to see your beautiful faces. Um, <laughs> oh, hi, Sarah. Um, so we can get started today. Good morning to all of you. And again, thank you for joining us. Um, oh, look at these beautiful faces. Why, thank you, everyone. Um, as you all know, this year, um, our theme for the conference is Advancing Indigenous Culture with Innovation for Transformative Impact. And for the last two days, we have been um, extremely blessed to hear from so many great speakers, uh, presenters, uh, to be able to really help us in the work um, and in our respective communities to be able to have this great impact that we all uh, seek in order to continue to prevent violence in our communities. Um, again, this conference is being uh, hosted by uh, PICTAR, our organization there in Utah. Um, I am actually in California and I'm with the organization, the Peninsula Conflict Resolution Center and in collaboration with um, our partners and sponsors, we've been able to conduct the first ever virtual Pacific Islander Violence Prevention Conference. So, so grateful for all of our partners. Just a few, um, a few things that I want to go over um, is that we are uh, going to be uh, focusing this today on our LGBTQ plus community. Um, as you know, that there has been an increased amount of violence um, against this particular community, and it's only um, it merits conversation and deeper understanding. And so today is our final day of the conference where we're going to wrap up. Uh, so the agenda for today is I'm going to quickly review uh, yesterday's program, and then we're going to actually watch um, a very short but powerful documentary called The Rogers, after which I will be facilitating a panel discussion um, and then we're going to hear a special message from uh, from um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints uh, General Authority, Elder William K. Jackson. Um, we will then close the conference today um, with a special message in closing from Lea Fatuita Tamuepeau, who is the Executive Director of Taulama for Tongans. Um, and so before I go there, I'm going to just ask that since it's early morning, it's Saturday and you're all joining us, if we could just take a moment to sort of ground ourselves in the conference. Um, so I'm going to ask everyone uh, if we can all uh, sort of take a couple of deep breaths together. And if you're sitting to sit up straight, um, have your feet grounded on the floor, um, try to straighten your back as much as you can. And I'm just going to lead us through a couple of breathing exercises. So if you can, please, with me, you can close your eyes and take, we're going to take three deep breaths. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna ask that you really try to feel 
the center of your stomach. And from that energy to your fingertips, down to your toes. Take another three real deep breaths. I ask that you focus on the power of our community, our ancestors, the shoulders in which we stand upon to help ground us in the discussion and the information and mana that you're gonna feel today. and come back. So thank you everyone for participating in a very short and small sort of uh, mindful breathing um, to sort of ground us again in today's discussion. Um, for those of you who were not able to join us yesterday, um, yesterday was really focused on our partners and our service providers to be able to give them context into our communities, to be able to understand us further, um, and what are the strengths of the communities and where are the needs, um, so that our service providers are able to sort of develop and design programs and outreach to be able to be successful in the work. Um, we all know that there are um, so many services that are available to our community, but there is still this challenge of engaging our communities to be able to take advantage of some of these programs. And so yesterday we uh, received a training on cultural humility um, and the approach to really think about how important it is that when approaching any community that we reserve all biases um, and to have continued learning about others in their communities, to be brave and courageous to ask questions, to be able to clarify. Um, and in the cultural context that we can really improve our prevention work um, as we continue to learn more about others' cultures. Um, and be willing to learn about others' cultures. And when we do that, we can actually see um, bridges beginning to build, bridges beginning to strengthen, so that um, we're able to work collaboratively with services. Um, we also were able to hear from our different regions of the Pacific, our Mali our Melanesian communities, our Micronesian and our Polynesian communities. We were able to really dive into sort of the historical context of these regions, the migration and how to be here in America and the diaspora um, away from our homeland and what are some of the programs that are available. Um, and finally, yesterday, we ended the day with a uh, panel discussion um, on the civil unrest that we have seen happen um, with all of the layered challenges that have happened, including a global pandemic, the death of George Floyd, um, the increase of protests and movements, um, a very a controversial election, as well as the census, um, and the economy, so many things um, packed and compounded has really began to impact our communities on top of challenges that we were already experiencing. Um, so we were able to have a panel discussion with um, law enforcement, a community activist and mobilizer, as well as a professor, um, and really got to be able to talk about our different perspectives 
Um, not everybody on the panel were all uh, sort of in the same vein, but definitely the outcome was that people still wanted to work together. People wanted to collaborate and do things that were able to help them um, to be able to find ways to work um, in such a challenging time. So we also ended up our conference yesterday with a beautiful uh, music number um, from Sincera Teo, as well as Sam Lutui, who was able to take us out. And now we're here uh, this morning. So, so grateful again for all of you for being here today. Um, just a few uh, group agreements and expectations for today. Of course, we are doing this entire conference virtually. So please just be respectful. Um, feel free to use the chat box to ask any questions. Um, and we love the discussions that happens in the chat. Um, we encourage you to keep your cameras on. We love to look at people other than, um, you know, my own box. Um, and uh, feel free to ask any questions. You can use any of the reactions or features, including um, raising your hand. Um, you can also chat me privately if you're not comfortable with uh, asking a question um, in, the, in the conversation or in the chat box. And I'll be able to relate that to our panelists or any of our other sponsors today. <laughs> 